children you are welcome to Sunday school I hope you had a nice week shall we pray everlasting father king of glory we thank you for another opportunity to be at church today we thank you oh Lord for bringing us to Sunday school father accept our thanks and praises Lord we are here this morning to learn your word Jesus come and help us Write your word on the fleshy table of our heart. Help us to be good boys and girls. And at the end, O oh Lord, count us worthy to be with you in heaven. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You are all welcome to primary past class, children. The topic of our lesson today is Who will help? And our memory verse is Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Matthew chapter 22, verse 39. Our text today is taken from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. But we are only going to read verses 25 to 29. Children, bring out your Bible and let us read together. Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 29, 25, I read. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? 26, he said unto him, what is written in the law? How readest thou? 27. And he answering said, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. 28, and he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. 29, but he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Children, let us close our Bible and listen to the lesson.
I have a plate in front of me with two apples. This is a good one and this is not. A friend of mine needs an apple. Which one should I give? Thank you. The good one. The good one. Jesus wants us to give our friends the best. And this will now take us to our lesson for today, which is about an injured man that was lying on the roadside, hurting. A priest came along, saw the injured man, and went the other way. A Levite came, saw the injured man, and went the other way. A man from Samaria came, saw the injured man, came down from his donkey, went to the injured man, and said, My friend, what happened? The injured man was hurting, he couldn't respond, eyes closed. This Samaritan man saw the wound, put oil on the wound, and bandaged the wound, and put the man on his donkey, took the man to the inn, and told the innkeeper to look after the injured man. He gave the innkeeper his money, and said, whatever the innkeeper spent on this man, he will pay in return. He took his time, spent his money, and said good words to the injured man. Who is a priest? Who is a Levite? They are all religious leaders. And who is a Samaritan? A man from Samaria that doesn't know Christ, as we were told. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Who is the injured man's neighbor? Children, the Samaritan. God bless you. That is why we call him the good Samaritan. The Samaritan. Why did we say the Samaritan? The Samaritan showed love. He called the man, my friend. He covered the wound with bandage and took care of the man. He took his time. He paid his money to look after the injured man. Children, who is your neighbor? Who is my neighbor? Everybody. Is my neighbor, is your neighbor. Then how can we show love to our neighbors? Not those by our living beside us, everybody. How can we then show love? When you are at school, you can show love to your friends, even those that are not your friends. When you have anything you know they don't have, you give them what you have, you share with them. When you see somebody crying in your class, you call the attention of your teacher to come and help when you are on the playground and somebody is crying, injured himself or herself, call your teacher to come and help. When you are on the bus, going home with daddy and mommy and an elderly person is standing up, give your seat to that elderly person. You are showing love. And this can be done when we have Christ in us. You can bring your friends to church, to Sunday school, to come and hear the word of God. You are showing love. Children, may God help us. Our statement for today's lesson is, I will be kind to others. Our activity, ages 2 to 5, good neighbor. Write the name of the picture in the correct square, ages 6 to 8. Be kind. Write at least one way you would like to show kindness. 
Our next week lesson is lesson 6D. Ready to go. And the memory verse is Matthew chapter 25 verse 13. Thank you children for listening. Goodbye. See you next week. God bless. Jesus, anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow on. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Answer Class. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm sure you're going to enjoy what I have for you. So, let's get started. The title for today's lesson is A Willing Helper. Our memory verse is And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Colossians chapter 3 verse 23. Right. Before we proceed, I want you to look at this big box of tools. We have different types of objects in it. Hmm. We've got hammer. We've got plier. And we've got school driver. And also we've got Highland kids and many more. They are all meant to do different jobs and it has to be used by people they cannot work on their own. Are these two meant to do different jobs? We are designed and shaped to do different jobs. God has deposited different talent and gift in us, which is calling us to use in his service. As a called Elijah today in our lesson, Elisha didn't disappoint God. He willingly answered God's call. That will lead us to our Bible text for today in 1 King chapter 19 from 19 to 21 and Matthew chapter 10 from verse 37 to 42. We are only reading 1 King chapter 19 from verse 19 to 21. Please let's open our Bible and read together. I read 19. So he departed things and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of horses before him. And with the twelfth, and Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him, swearing. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and then now follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done to thee? 21. And he returned back from him, and took a yoke of horses, and slew them, and boiled their flesh with the instrument of the oxen, and gave unto the people, and they did it. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Let's close our Bible and listen. In that Bible text, there was a prophet named Elijah. He was getting hold and God said to him to anoint a prophet for himself to replace him. Elijah went to find Elisha on the field where he was plowing with his 12 yokes of oxen. God will never call a lazy person. No. As Elijah passed by, he threw his mantle on Elisha. Elisha knew what that meant. That mantle was a symbol of Elijah as a prophet of God. In our society, certain jobs require uniforms. Police, doctors, firefighters, soldiers wear special uniforms. 
that help identify where they work and their position. By casting his mantle on Elisha, Elijah made it clear that God's call to be a prophet has now passed on to Elisha. Elisha was not surprised when the mantle cast on him. He didn't complain either. He grabbed that opportunity when the call came. Without hesitating, he willingly left it awesome and ran after Elijah, asking for permission to say goodbye to his father and mother before he could follow him. So Elijah went home, killing the awesome. He used to plow the fields and made a feast for everyone before following Elijah. We could see Elisha has made up his mind. For him, there is no turning back. He had faith in God and a willingness to leave everything for God. Also, in our lesson story for today, we read how Sebastian was hastening to get home to do his own work before Uncle Martins encouraged him to stay behind after the church service to give hands in folding the church chairs and helping in the cleaning of the building. Sebastian willingly left his own work to participate in Lord's service. Sebastian did the work all heartedly without complaint. Likewise, Elijah did follow Elijah whole heartedly. So, we too can do a service for the Lord. But we need to put ourselves in a position where God can use us. By giving our life to Christ, obeying our parents and teachers, carefully do all our chores at home as unto the Lord. Do our best in school by not mingle with bad friends. As we learn to be faithful in all these things, the Lord will continue to bless us and use us for greater things He has in plan for our life. Boys, girls, are you ready to be workers for the Lord? Have you counted the cost? If yes, are you willing to give up everything it takes for God's service? Are you willing to confess your sins and forsake your wayward life? Of Are you ready to say goodbye to your worldly friends? Jesus is calling you today. He wants to use you for his service. Others is plentiful, but workers are few. Will you join the band today and answer his call? God bless you. Remember, children, our take-home statement is whatever God has, I will do it. For our activities, which have just been displayed, read each statement and decide what your reaction is. Color the happy face if it is willing. Color the sad face if it is complaining. That is the end of our lesson. For next week, we're going to study lesson 78, titled, Choosing the Right Hero. Shall we pray? For the Lord, we thank you for today's lessons. For the Lord has said our things. We appreciate you for both primary calls and answers lesson. For the Lord has said our things. We've learned today about how to answer God's call all at a day. Father Lord, come and help us. Daddy, we know that you have marvelous things that you want to use us for. Jesus, come and help us. Let us put ourselves in a position whereby we can be useful for you. Jesus, help us. Save our souls, sanctify and baptize us with the Holy Ghost. At the end of our journey, O oh Lord, we want to see you face to face. Do this for us, O oh Lord, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you next week. Bye-bye.
Thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.